Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we're back in Pro Cycling Manager 2019 with Enrico Chivaldori, and uh, we are in the Tour of No Route of Oman. Indeed, yes, uh, we're in the pre preseason before it um, really kicks off with some of the big classics, which we all are invited to so far. I hope that trend continues. So this is our calendar. We are right now, right there, and today. I think we're going to finish the Tour of Oman and depending on how it goes, maybe even jump into the first stage of the Tour de Var. Is that what it's called? Probably is. Something. Something. Tour, Tour du Var. Yeah, exactly. And after that, well, you see what's up next. The big ones. We are invited to Milano Sanremo and all the others in here, as well as uh, we already received the invitation to both Flandern and Paris-Roubaix. Now we are just missing uh, Liege, Bastogne Liege, and then I changed the calendar last time to also include Giro d'Italia due to popular demand. So stage number three it is, and some interesting final kilometers there. No major obstacles in the way, apart from well, this one short climb, but very steep. Um, shouldn't really matter. Pretty long. Let's get into it. All right, there we are. Another minus one race day condition. Uh, that hurts, but we do have basically a zero at that point. A plus one to sprint. That might be helpful. And as you can see, yes, indeed. Very, very interesting finish. Maybe good for an attack, but with our current race day condition, maybe not. It is quite tricky, quite uphill. Oh, that was an easy start. Five riders up front, two minutes and 20 on the clock. And uh, yeah, just rolling along. 160 kilometers left. Probably not going to, not going to be very exciting until the very end. Uh, they are moving across this one really hard. And I'm all the way at the back right now. So I don't want to get, get lost. So let's hammer it to 80. That should be enough to stay with them for the remainder. Yeah, don't... Uh, it ripped, but, well, they, they will reconnect very shortly. There we go. And now we're coming close to those final kilometers. It's just this one ramp, which is a little steeper, around 7%, it looks like. And the rest just undulated, but the finishing kilometers are uh, quite uphill. So, very short sprint but intense at that and very difficult to not lose red bar beforehand uh, we shall see it's all about positioning in that instance i don't want to um i i don't dare to uh, launch an attack here this looks a bit like suicide with our race day condition and yeah not enough resistance really oh what well, resist no resistance isn't an issue uh, not enough um power unless we we get a like strong attack and whatnot. I know I have the aerodynamic position, but mm, I don't think that is enough with how difficult this one is. Uh, if it were all downhill to the finish after that, I would go for it, but not like this. So I'm just activating my super leader capabilities uh, for Bucket, and yeah, let's move in pretty hard here, because that is what we need a good position to get out of there not be left behind and the road is rising that's looking nice we have plenty of resistance there so that's all looking good oh are they attacking even that that would be an interesting twist if someone else was attacking but no oh uh, Rip, Rip Mac Ripster seems to be wanting to have uh, have five a piece of the cake. And, oh, okay. Five, oh, shit. Five kilometers remaining. Uh, just about still saw that. Very good. Activate. He still has a bit of resistance. I think that will last till the right spot. There's a bit of downhill there, too, and then we are on our own. So, yeah, I think that should work out. So, there we go. He is... Going hard. He's not losing all that much red just yet. So maybe he should try to follow him. Can we can we try to grab his wheel? So far so good. 
Um, as soon as he's... Oh, he's not empty. That is still looking good. We still have enough resistance on Bucket to um, probably have him lead out properly. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, they they are moving. They're moving pretty fast. We still have uh, the effect of the super leader. Whatever that actually does, I don't know. But um, let's go 90. We are in a beautiful position. Beautiful, beautiful position. And now the road is rising. It's not quite as steep as it will get. Uh, getting closer. Oh, now they're, and now we have our bar. So let's go 99. Let's go 99. And you need to sprint. And Enrico... <laughs> Shit, they are so, so fast. Enrico needs to hammer it now as well. Uh, he's so damn fast. He is so damn fast. He is almost dead. So he's not an issue. He's not an issue. Our oh, Rip McRipster. Yeah, we. I think we might come second here. This is uphill. It's still 500 meters to go. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, yeah, we are going to get second. Uh, yeah, it was no beating him. Um, he had nothing left though. So, nah. No, this little difference would not have made this difference in uh, position, unfortunately. Oh, fortunately, because that would have made uh, me have to to say that oh wait I made a mistake in in getting started a little too late but nope this is a very good result I take that any day I think it was a case of our lead out being slightly too weak in that situation but then again it's like yeah what do you expect from a um, really lower tier continental team <laughs> a continental pro team uh, to be competing against guys like these it's like crazy Anyway, let's take a look at the next stage. I think that's the mountain one. 32 points for this one. Oh, yes, it is. And that is a climb. 9.9% average. 12.9 max. So uh, it's a bit of a grinder. Although, it's 7 kilometers. The resistance should just about last. Depending on how hard you go, of course. Uh, it is very steep, though. Maybe it is a grinding climb. Supposedly, we're one of the favorites here. I slightly doubt it with, uh, with these guys being here. Oh, who's, who's that? He must have leveled up like crazy. He's over 80 mountain. Yeah, that's a lot. And, of course, we have Simon here. Hmm. Yeah, with that competition, that will be rough. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? What the hell? We have some... Seriously bad luck here, apart from the first stage where uh, we had a plus three for whatever reason, but a minus two, so we had a plus three, minus one, minus one, minus two. Fuck that. Um, so yeah, in most important stage, and we have a minus two. Brilliant. Now they have seriously upped the pace, and we are getting closer to the finish. Twenty-two kilometers left to go. Oh, they. Oh, they are sprinting away. Okay. Well, it's just for for the sprint rating. Uh, we need to slow down. We need to slow down. Don't waste your resistance bar unnecessarily. We will need it in the upcoming climb because that looks mighty scary. But I can have Nipper at the front, at the helm. And he is going to do lead work into the climb at 90 because we have more flat than most climbers. It's just 6.8 kilometers long. And we have full resistance. So I think that is just about where we have enough resistance to go 85 for the whole thing. But, um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not so sure. Uh, how do we time our bar here? For the finish? Do I not use red bar beforehand? Hmm. It doesn't really matter, I believe, because the best course of action is to go as constant speed as possible. Because it's a grinding climb, that will give you the, the highest possible performance. So if we just go dot .85 and not get blocked by these idiots, that will be fantastic. Ah, some, some guys are going. Yep. Uh, Rip McRipster as well. That is a serious contender. 
Oh, well, not really. Yeah, it doesn't have the mountain. But yeah, I'm just going to go 85 flat and see where that leaves us. Everyone is following him. I think I want to trigger my bar right now. Then I think as soon as you trigger it, you get a slight bonus. And the slight bonus will be needed in this black section. 4.7 kilometers left. New attacks are going. Oh, there is a our bar active. On the other hand, is he attacking as well? Him too? Is this the attack we want to follow? I think I would want to follow... Oh, yeah, that's scary. Mm. Which attack do we want to follow? Well, none at all, and just go 90. Yeah, let's just go 90. And see if we can hang in there as efficiently as that. Is he empty? Oh, shit, he is empty. Okay, let's not follow him then. Uh, so that is looking all right. It is looking all right. They are slowing down somewhat. And he is looking very strong still. And I think what I need to do here is to just ride it out. Our bar at 90. It's perfect. We still have red bar. And there we go. There we go. We are getting back to them. It's not our strongest day, remember? So we do want to be super efficient here. Three kilometers left. Uh, are we getting back to them? They're stronger. Certainly stronger. I have to slow down slightly, I believe. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, they are out of red. Uh, but they still have enough yellow. And he still has some red. Uh, this is... This is going to be a little, uh, tricky to get back there. Come on. 1.5 kilometers left. Oh man, they're strong. They're so damn strong. Oh shit. Okay, I, I can't go any faster than that. I think this will be very much on the edge or even beyond it. He seems to be dead. Uh, he's dead as well, but and they have thick legs. So, <laughs> holy shit. Okay, there we go. We still have ever so slight amounts. They Everyone has thick legs now. So that was a tough, tough climb. Oh, Yates is going. Yates is attacking. He still has something in him. Oh, yes. oh man. Oh, man, we are going to lose some time here. Ah, oh, come on. You don't have to slow it down that much. There we go. We probably lost half a minute or even more. 40 seconds? So overall, I was taking it slightly too fast. Could have done a bit better, but not much. Hmm. We have 46 seconds behind, and that puts us in fifth. Fuck that. Damn race day condition. Without that, like, if we had had a zero, I think we uh, could have stayed with the first group. Because that would mean basically a plus two in mountain. And that's about the difference we saw there. There's not much more needed than that to uh, to score in this, in this situation. So, yep, yeah, that sucked. This one will be interesting. The finish... Oh, it's such a short stage. I think I'm going to try something. I do need some more seconds. So, yeah, and the, the final stage, I believe, is not, not really something where we can... Oh, no, it is. On the final stage, we might be able to get some time. Plus one race day condition. That's certainly a lot better than what we had yesterday. Uh, and these climbs are... Pretty rough. If we had some better downhill rating, I would sure consider attacking there. Uh, but we shall see. We shall see. Maybe there's some race situation evolving towards the end where we are in a smaller group after these harsh climbs and then can solo attack in the end. That would be fantastic. Now we're getting close to the first climb and that is also the third climb from the looks of it. I don't know why there's a sprint rating on top of that one. <laughs> Seems odd. Oh yeah, they're going pretty hard up these slopes. And now it's going to get very steep. 9%. We are a little stuck there, aren't we? But, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get through. Oh, come on. Get through. No, fuck that. Let's activate sneaking. I don't want to get blocked by fat asses and waste energy like this. Oh, wait a second. 
Um, we could... No, what are you doing? What are you doing, mate? Can you not follow me? Yes, you can. Okay, I need to grab a few points. There are... Well, still two points to grab. Uh, I think... Or how many... Oh, yeah, there are just two riders up front. So I should be able to... Hey, Are you fucking kidding me? Go! Ride! Yes, okay. I think we got, I got two points there. Yes, nice. Whew! Um, but on the next one, I can get the full points. Because no escapees will be up front at that point, I believe. Yeah, the peloton has shrunk quite a bit. Now we are headed up the, the back side of that climb. And that one is the, the more difficult one. Mm, okay. Yeah, we still have plenty of resistance. I only see my helper being struggling a bit. But just keep a, keep at it. Uh, that number is very, very treacherous. Look at that. This field goes all the way down there. And that is a pretty sharp edge on top. It will just rip to, to shreds. And there's probably a like three-minute gap down to down there. So, yeah, not quite indicative of the actual this race situation. But are you kidding me? Stop this bullshit. Don't block me. Just because you have fat, fat legs doesn't mean that everyone has to ride your speed. So now I'm pushing my helper quite a bit. I hope he does survive well enough to um, grab some uh, grab some water for us. Oh, oh, Enrico, you you stay with them. You stay with them. And now I just need to quickly grab some points. There we go. Oh. Oh, shit. And I can grab some water as well in that case. Did that work? Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> just about. Oh, very nice maneuver. Just continue riding. Ooh. Okay. This is looking good. Only 12 riders remaining in this group. Everyone has been split up significantly. I can attack this group. Um, there are not many in here who have a flat rating higher than us. But he would be one of them. And he has been shafted by the climb. There's one more to come. There's a bit of rest, of course. But, um, yeah, I don't know how slow this group will ride. Probably pretty slow. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, 25 riders now. I hope someone is taking up the lead work. Uh, currently, it doesn't look like it. Oh, man. Please, don't let everyone come back. Oh, now they're riding again. Okay, good. Whew. I was fearing that everyone would return. All right, we are getting very, very close to this final slope. Well positioned. I do have my uh, sneaking skill uh, ready to go, in case we get boxed in. My helper won't be much of a he uh, much of a help up this slope. When do I want to have my bar? Probably for the final solo attack. Hmm. Will that be good? Yeah, I think I will be regaining quite a bit of red in the um, in the downhill there. Or maybe it's better to have it now. Yeah, I believe it's probably better to have it now and um, for the attack itself, which might come towards the top of this one. Oh, he's going. Van, Van Barle? Are you serious? Are you going? No, you got blocked. Okay. Um, going 90 seems about right, although that is very fast. Oh. This might be our chance. Let's go 99. Let's go 99. There we have it. Let's not go 99, but rather continue very efficiently at 90. Now they have to close the gap, and we have our bar. Perfect. So, Yates, how are you doing, mate? Uh, about the same as myself. I have more resistance, though. 13 kilometers left to go. Hmm. Interesting situation here. Uh... If he is attacking strongly, uh, let's let's up to 95. I don't want him to close the gap that easily. Yeah, yeah, we're going good. 
going really good. He will die before us. It just be... Yes, there we go. <laughs> Holy shit. So close. Lambrecht can still go. Rip McRipster. And we are across the line. And now... Well, there's not much to recuperate here. There's not much down here there. And all these guys behind us should be pretty empty. I think with this downhill, I do have enough of resistance to solo this. It's 10 kilometers left to go. Ooh, that's not much resistance, though. But let's see what happens. So we go, we go into the downhill. And there we have our attack skill. Oh, 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 stop it. Don't, don't, don't attack like this. So we go 99 down here. They are still close. And then I activate my... Um, uh, oh, wait a, wait a second. How are they faring? He, ah, he's chasing. 85 fucking downhill? Yeah, mate, that is, that is crazy. Uh, not much we can do here. They are great in the flat now, chasing. Now that's why I don't get much of a gap. While it's still going 99... That's just because they are so damn good. Oh, are they getting close? Yeah, they are getting closer. So I think I need I need to get out of this fucking steep stuff because I'm so bad at down here. So I need to go 90 and activate aerodynamics. And now we're in the flat and just riding it out. And this is looking good. Okay, they have stopped the uh, the immediate chase. And I don't think he's up to chasing me down. Six kilometers left to go. I have plenty of resistance. So that should be good. 30 seconds. We, th the distance is growing. Five kilometers left. Perfect. Okay. Uh, our resistance, of course, is slowly diminishing. But this is super efficient, high tempo riding. So it's going well. It's going really well. 45 seconds now. But they are very empty. They are very empty. Yeah, they don't have that much left. He can go for a proper, proper sprint if he wanted to, but he doesn't want to chase me down either. All right. So where do we go from here? Uh, left or right? Yeah, okay, left. Yeah, slowly, slowly inching forward to the line. Holy fuck, that is powerful. Uh, yeah, you, you are completely demolishing everything here. Uh, what what a ride. What a solo victory. Sprint, accelerate, and we are across the line. 1.4 kilometers on the chase group. <laughs> 1 minute 40. And I think they are pretty empty. Let's, let's see why they are slowing down so much. Yeah, okay. I could, uh, could have gone slightly harder. Head down, just powering through. That is Enrico Givaldori. Rather decisive, taking back 1 minute 40. Yep, that tour should be ours. 30 points for this, and uh, let's get to the final stage. And here we go, zero race day condition. That should be fine. It's an interesting profile. Quite steep climb there towards the end. And that is another attack opportunity. Oh, well, it's also an opportunity for our opposition to um, potentially strike back. But, yeah, let's, let's not talk about that. They probably won't. I need to be ever vigilant. And we are getting to the final kilometers of the stage. And, yeah, it's the sa is it the same climb three times? Not quite. It's the same climb twice, and the middle one is different. The peloton is already split up. Uh, groups of, like, 66 riders. And uh, now we're back to 110, uh, which is fine. Um, Alright. Oh, yeah, turning around here. Oh, this is just the climb backwards. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, oh, 1 minute 30 still on the clock for the escapees. No one uh, seems to be really interested in, in catching them, apart from uh, myself. Hmm, let's see if they can can get through here. Oh, there's a group going. 
There is a group going. I think they might be able to split this up. And yeah, at that speed, potentially that is a yes. Let's see what happens. Let's follow them. And I think from here I should activate my bar so that I have it in the climb that is coming up. We're going hard enough to warrant that for sure, so uh, yeah, why not? Okay, so Nipper is still retaining the speed. That is good, but I think I need to ma manually move properly here. And yeah, I guess... I can activate aerodynamic positioning here, although that means I can't attack, obviously. But if I go into this with enough of a tempo advantage, I should be able to get away nonetheless. I uh, could still attack. Why can I attack? Uh, oh, I just can't sprint, I believe. So, yeah, they're moving hard. Or Nipper is moving hard. And now I can still attack. I think within the five kilometers, I can't do that anymore. Um, hmm. I'm aerodynamic positioning. Let's let's slow this down. Ulysses is there. Let's hammer the attack button for now. Let's see if we get away. Yes, we do. There went a strong attack on top of it, and we are on aerodynamic positioning, and we're just whoa! We're just flying by, just flying by. Strong attack. Up the slope. This is the hardest part of the slope. Come on. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And still attacking. You got 99. You need to go 99. And are you still still going hard? How, how much of a sprinter? Oh, she... Fuck. He is a massive, massive sprinter cunt. Um, that's not looking good then. But on the other hand, you see, he's really empty. So if I just continue going that hard, will he be completely empty in the final kilometer? Probably not. He will beat me in the sprint, but I, yeah, I rather, I rather get the seconds. He is helping me out with the seconds. Come on. Oh, is he? There we go. And oh, second place. Nice. That was a strong performance by uh, the SKP there, so, yeah, can't really, can't really fault him before us being empty. Not much I could have done there unless I would have compromised our excellent uh, position to um, gain some more time or be guaranteed second. I didn't want to compromise that. So, um, anyway, that was this tour. Uh, very, very successful. I think we won everything. Let's have a look. In the general, 1 minute 23, and 128 points, uh, 26 points, and of course also the white jersey. A complete clean sweep of Oman, Enrico Chevaldori, written all over it now. Uh, 78 points. Not too bad. Alright, let's do one more. Stage 1 of the Tour du Var. And an interesting finish. I think we are one of the favorites here. Yep. Yep. Top three. Okay. Very undulated. Finish is interesting. There is uh, this ramped up climb. Not very steep towards the end, but um, yeah. Sprinter will probably win this. Um, or a mountain hill guy which can sprint. Uh, who can sprint, rather. And that will be us. Well, let's see how it goes. And there we go, a minus one, all right, that doesn't help, but it should be fine as that is basically a zero, it's reasonably steep towards the end, just above five percent. So there are five riders up front, three minutes on the clock, easy day so far. And the final little hill to conquer, very steep towards the end, and then flattening out towards the top, the so it's not too bad. But I fear my uh, water supply is going to be shafted. Yes, there we go. Exactly as anticipated. Ouch. Oh, oh, and we need to go. Move hard, move hard, move hard. What are you doing? Come on, move. Why can't he accelerate? What is going on? Why is he so slow? Is it because of these corners? Yeah, uh, I think so. Well, c come on. 
come on already! What the fuck? 99 should be able to catch catch them up. Uh, what's going on here? It's just impossible because of all the corners, I believe. No, now we're catching them. All right, there we have them. And now let's go back to 85, get back in position. We should be able to get back our, our red. No problem. Yeah, okay, that's looking better. A super leader for Bucket, who now is leading me out. I hope the water supply is still high enough. And six, six kilometers left to go. Pretty slow finish there. So when do we want to um, to trigger our bar? Probably at four kilometers. So yeah, let's go for it right now. 4.3 kilometers. There's this tiny bit of downhill section as well. I want to have it in the final climb, of course. And... So far, things are looking good. Bucket is... Mm, is he holding up, really? Mm, I don't know. Resistance might not last. He needs to start moving now, though. Come on. Uh, go harder. 90... Oh, 95. Well, there's this down here. Yeah, 90 should be fine. Yes, we're very, very well positioned. And now, go... Can we go 90, 99? No. No, I think we would use too much red bar, but 95 should be fine. Are they are they starting to sprint already? All right, you need to go 99 then, after all. Yes, and our bar is kicked in perfect timing. This is going slow enough for us to just hang in there. And now, disconnect and sprint. I think we can do that from here. here we go. The is on. And... <sighs> Probably not going to work, nope. Nope, no, it's not going to work. That is way too early. I launched the sprint way too early and they're just hanging in there. It is not steep enough. Oh, no, not, not, oh, fucking hell, that was terrible. All right, well, that's just, is it a second place or third? No, it looks like third. And we are third, yes. Okay, well, that was way too early. But we do get some bonus seconds. So that's that's good, um, and yeah, if if the other two had finished in front of me, don't get bonus seconds the next time, then then that's um, all headed in the right direction. But there are not that many chances in this tour. It's just a free stage tour, isn't it? He must have had a crazy high race day condition, because these stats wouldn't allow him to perform that well, not even with perfect timing. But anyway. So we do have, uh, let's see, this stage coming up and that, ooh, ooh, okay, that's an actual hill finish. Uh, yeah, larger gaps can form there easily. Now that gives us 12 points, another 96 to go for the next uh, insignificant level up. And I think that should be it for today. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time. <laughs>